Hi, this is Uli and welcome back to another exciting episode on airbrush stencils and how to work with them in real time. Today I'm doing uh, first the barbed wire iron cross and I'm adding some flames to this. Um, as you can see I have now the first stencil which is uh, opaque black. So this is the negative part where I can lay down the black and I have like a cover stencil with is everything that's cut out of this. So now I'm working with the black. And if you want to do a like a drop shadow, you can put these stencils a little bit to one side and a little bit down or, or up. And you can repeat this with less opacity. But I'm doing a flame background uh, on this and don't need this right now. So this is now the second step, which is the light gray. So there are the basic uh, wire parts there. So I take two turns around this to get a like a little bit lighter white because I'm adding now the light blue to this. So I later have a blue gray. And um, this is needed because there's a highlight layer that comes next. And there you have like all the highlights in the Iron Cross, which is surrounded by barbed wire. Also, there's another stencil, which is the um, inner part of this. Um, of this uh, iron cross, so there are actually two, so you can give the iron cross also a color, and then there's a little effect for the middle part of this thing, but I did not use this in this video. So again, I'm going around this. Also two times. So you have like full uh, color on the white. And there we have like a really cool Bob White Iron Cross for the first step. And uh, it's a cool addition. Now as for painting some flames on this, first what I'm doing is I'm putting the positive stencil of the first stencil that I used in there. So I'm covering the whole uh, cross up. So I can paint over it and without painting on the iron cross. So for this I'm now using a flame stencil and I'm using this with a full white. Well, not a full because I'm doing a, a red tone there, so just using this shade. Now I'll remove this, and I have some uh, smaller flame shapes for the side of the. Uh, iron cross. Also laying a little bit of white down. And I do some pattern on the sides of the cross. So now I'm taking the first dark color, which is now a fire red, which I'm using.
a little bit of um, heat dryer and um, now I take the positive part of the uh, center flame and I'm using some purple for this to fill in the gaps of the flames. So I'll try to match the background color there. And now do like a small aura around the iron cross. And once is for that it may look like like a flame outside. And second I can put in some color in the center parts of the uh, the wire so the gaps there get filled. So now I'm starting with the uh, yellow. So there's a nice glowing effect around this. And again some red and also some magenta. So now <coughs> I'm doing like a mistake here. So this is actually the highlight uh, white for the, the fire. But um, I should take the, the one that is now on the left side. This one is the right, so it's the part that later gets the uh, orange and you know, the, the red orange parts. But the cool thing about a stencil is that you can always um, put the stencils back on and uh, uh, repeat steps or change steps. So now I'm doing another round on the aura, but this time I'm a little bit nearer on the surface and I'm doing this like uh, lightning shapes. So I'm just going around the cover stencil of the Iron Cross and doing this shapes and now I'm using yellow and red and I paint everything in this color I'm drawing the thing a little bit up. Now I see my mistake that this is actually the uh, second step where there should be the orange. So, like I said, I'm just repeating this step using a little bit of uh, yellow and orange and then I do the highlights again A 
little bit of uh, freehand in there in the uh, flames and now I'm doing like uh, with reduced air just I'm squeezing the air hose so I get a little bit of small dots and spots which is like like sparks there it's really easy and cool effect which gives the flame a unique look and now I'm doing the highlights again for the center flame and the side flames So what I like to do now is I like to repeat the this tab where I put like some yellow and some light red in there and repeat the the highlight steps so but this time not everything but just a few parts so you can um, give each flame like a unique look in, in the case that you can uh, put in some prominent uh, parts as so the centers of the, the flames that you use you can do it every time different and so every flame looks a little bit different also now I'm doing the thing around the aura and um, the needle nearly touches the surface so I'm really doing a fine line there and now the uh, final highlights so I'm not using everything in this stencil but I'm trying to follow the, the parts that I've done freehand so I put some highlights in there and now I can remove the cover stencil and you can see um, the picture barbed wired iron cross with flames so and also if you try this at home you can like use different colors for the flames Like now I'm doing some freehand shapes. Like this is a thing that you can do to make every picture unique. Okay, if you like the video you can hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment feel free to do so and thank you for watching. Bye.